Oh. Hi, friends. Um, welcome to what I'm calling Cardboard Week. Um, this week's projects are going to use some of that cardboard you've been saving um, from your recycling bin. Today, we're going to make some little animals, cardboard animals. Um, you can probably tell that mine is still wet. I just painted it a couple minutes ago, um, and so I ended up with orange paint all over my fingers. Um, so, let me tell you what we need, and then we'll get started. Um, today, all you need is cardboard. This is just from a box, an Amazon box over here, whatever, you've, whatever cardboard you've saved. Um, scissors. Um, Grown-up scissors are probably going to work the best for this because cardboard is a little hard to cut. Um, so if you want to have a grown-up help you, go for it. Um, you could draw your shape on the cardboard and then have your grown-up cut it out for you. That's totally an option. Um, so cardboard, scissors, and paint. This is just like, this is some kid paint that... I think some grandparents gave Frankie and Annie for Christmas. Um, it, any kind of paint is fine. Um, if you don't have any paint, you can use markers or crayons. Um, I also, in the newsletter I'm sending today, I am including a recipe to make your own paint. Cool. Um, and all it needs is water, salt, flour, and food coloring. Um, mostly things that you might already have in your house. So you can try that too. Um, so pause me, oh, and you'll need a paintbrush. Um, so pause me now, get your stuff. Okay, let's make a cardboard animal. So um, first I'll show you kind of how I put mine together and then I'll go through some of the steps. Um, so you can see, I for this one I chose to make a cat um, ooh, I won't focus on the cat. There we go. Um, so I, this is made of three different pieces. So I have the body of the cat and then its legs are separate. And the legs are what make it stand up. So I'll show you how it stands up. You can just stand there in front of us. Um, so I, the first thing that you're going to do is draw out your shape, whatever shape you want to make. So you just draw it right on the cardboard. Um, so I might do a rabbit next. Um, and whatever shape you're doing, you don't want to include, you don't need to include the legs because the legs are going to be separate. So I'm going to just draw it right here on the edge of my cardboard. Let me see if I can hold it up so you can see what I'm drawing. So the bottom, here's the tail, the little head with the ears. So that's kind of my rabbit shape. Um, see how I, so I started on the bottom of the cardboard, so I, that's one less cut I have to do. Um, and I didn't include any legs or feet. So then I'm gonna take my scissors and carefully cut it out. For me, it's easiest, it's easiest to cut it out um, from the big piece first so that I don't have all that cardboard to get in my way. Um, so once you have this, just kind of cut around your outline and it's, cardboard is a little tricky to cut. So it's, it's not gonna be perfect and that's, just fine. Um, you can also, you don't have to make an animal. You could make this a car. You could make a um, person. You can make an alien. You could make something abstract. Uh, whatever, whatever speaks to you, whatever you're into right now. Um, you could make a bunch of stand up fruits and vegetables that parade around your kitchen, whatever you want. Um, so once you have your animal body. The next thing you're going to do, so you can see it's not, it's not exact and that's totally okay. It's just, 
just fine for this project. Um, the next thing you're gonna do is make the leg shapes. Um, so I, I made another one earlier too. I made this kind of giraffe without the, without, it's missing its horns. Um, and this was the first one I made and you can see the legs are kind of different lengths. Like, so he's like leaning, leaning over a little bit. Um, but you can see the legs are this sort of shape. Um, so for the rabbit, let me get my big piece again. I'm gonna just cut off one of these flaps. And because the rabbit is a lot smaller than a giraffe, I'm going to, um, I'm not gonna use such a big, tall piece for the legs. So I will just cut out, um, I'm gonna cut out one and then I'm gonna measure against my next piece so that they're the same. And then um, you'll cut a little, a little triangle, very skinny, skinny triangle um, on one end. That's gonna be the part that goes onto your animal's body. Um, and this is a little tall for a, a, for a rabbit's legs, so I'm gonna cut it a little shorter. And then um, if you want, you can leave it flat at the bottom or you can make another cut to give it two separate legs. Oh, and my cuts are too close together and it's kind of falling apart. So let's try that again. So a little triangle at the top. And this for this one, because the rabbit's legs, I'm trying to make them a little shorter. I'm, I'm not gonna separate the legs. It's just gonna be kind of two big blocks under the rabbit. Um, and then you can just slide these on. Uh, oh, I forgot one step. So I'm gonna do two little snips on the rabbit's body. I'm sorry, you can't really see that. So one at the front, pretty close to the front of its body, and then one towards the back. Just one little snip. And then that's a spot for the, that's a good spot for these legs to slide on. have a little kind of funny, whoops, mine are off, mine are not the same length. It was sort of a funny little bunny. Um, and then, so once you have all your pieces cut, um, then you can paint it. Um, you could also paint it before you cut it. Like you could paint, you could paint this whole piece of cardboard, um, kind of like an Eric Carle style textury painting, um, and then wait for it to dry and then cut it out. That's totally an option. Um, or you can paint it after you cut it. So I'm gonna make this a purple bunny. I'm just gonna paint the whole, the whole thing one color. Um, and then after this color dries, I'm, then I might go back and add some details, like drawing a face. Um, maybe adding some different color to the tail. So just paint the whole thing. You can paint it all one color or do stripes, whatever you want. And then I'm also gonna paint the legs, both sides, um, on both sides. So if you want, you can do one side and then wait until it dries and flip it over. You could also do it um, on, you know, an old piece of newspaper or something, or one of these extra pieces of cardboard. Um, if you or your grown-up is worried about getting paint on the table, um, since we're not at the studio with the painty tables. So once these pieces are dry, then you can stick them together, like I did the cat, and have a little creature. Um, I It's kind of rainy today, um, but I'm thinking once it's nice outside, I might uh, set up some little photo shoots with my animals in the yard, um, going on some adventures. I also thought it would be fun to do kind of like a stop motion video with them. Um, so I'm excited to see what you make. Please uh, have your grown-ups send me a picture or a video because um, it's so cool to see what you guys are making. It's so much fun to connect with you even in this weird 
kind of wacky way. Um, and then I'll see you on Wednesday for some more art made from cardboard. Bye guys. Thanks for doing art with me. Bye.